Hi, it's Mo Egger, and I've made it to work today. Left four hours early because of last night's snow. Was it last night or this morning? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Snowed and we're back. Anyway, uh, are you sweating the AFC North? So, you know, big game on Sunday. Bengals and Browns, they're a game and a half out. They've beaten the Bengals already. The Ravens obviously won. They're a game and a half out. The race is getting tighter. I'm not worried about either team trailing Cincinnati. I'm not worried about this division. I am worried about the team. Uh, I'm going to talk about why I need the Bengals to win for purely selfish purposes, and I'm going to make an offer to one of our listeners. I am ready to say goodbye to Shin Su Chu because I think he's just going to be a bad investment. And, like, I know we want him to, to come back for 2014. Shin Su Chu is not worth what he is hoping to get. Doesn't mean I don't like him. Doesn't mean I wouldn't like him back. But if, if he thinks he can get $14, $15 million, um, good luck to him. Best of luck. Huge night for local college basketball. And I think the city of Cincinnati should borrow from the city of San Diego. Not just weather, not just get a beach in here. In San Diego, you're not allowed to throw a football at a tailgate. And I think that should be the rule here. You know why? Because American men don't know how to throw footballs. It's an epidemic that's sweeping the NFL. It's an epidemic that's sweeping tailgating lots. I am going to stand up for the good folks in San Diego who are fining people in tailgating lots. Seriously, fining people in tailgating lots for throwing footballs. Same thing should happen here. David Pollock's going to join us. Joe Reedy's going to join us. And you're going to join us too today, starting at 3.04 on ESPN 1530.